Super Nanny. Pigeon kids, where are you hiding, you little scallywag? Come on, time for your morning run! Oh, the scamper, scampette. You were awfully cagey about that, weren't you? Ah, <laughs> that's all very touching, but go, Smidgen, attack, leap, spin! Hmm, Smidgen's too busy with his or uh, her kitties. How am I gonna have fun with him or uh, her? I know! I'm so clever! A top-level emergency! Get me a nanny for Smidgen's babies right now! Right away, Mr. President, sir. Come in! <laughs> Super Nanny is here to help. There is someone who's advanced me? Ooh, me? what a cute little darling. Oh. Itty bitty cutie pie. Let Super Nanny give you a big hug, baby. But madam, how dare you? I won't allow it. You're making a serious mistake. I called you to look after my hem. What a character this little guy has. Goo goo. Sharpen the metzger van, mosey the mushka. Now this one's called Mawashi Escarboy. This move was devised in the 10th century by Shaolin Ninja Tekong, a 12th degree black belt kick bashing master. Your turn, genius. Go ahead and grab. Hello? Excuse me? Can you repeat that? I can't understand a word. Oh, it's you, Mr. President. You're practicing Greek with your mouth full. What's that? Super Nanny is rocking you to death. Uh-oh, sounds like a mission for Captain Biceps! Genius technique. Yeah. 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 face. Genius, the President needs us. Biceps, save me from this mad woman! She makes presidential procedure a complete joke! Why did Super Nanny choose the president? Elementary, my dear genius. He's little, real little, and real cute. She finds oh. him irresistible. Just you watch. She won't resist my fist either. Good idea, heating up that Super Pam. You'll be eating from a bottle after I've finished with you. Now, where are those manners, Kitty Cole? You start being nice to me right now, I could be your mama. Is that how you talk to your mama? No, oh, excuse me, Mrs. Super Nanny. Could you please let Mr. President go? That would be real nice. No way! Rock up by Kinder Kin in the treetop. When the wind blows, the... I am real sorry, Mrs. Nurse, but we really have to take the president back. You see... No way! I am the only babysitter. He's too little to go anywhere without me. <laughs> go on, take that. Okay, <laughs> look at you, the ugly duckling. Maybe this little guy is jealous, huh? Okay, so you get a bottle too. Okay, now time for the birth. Good job. Listen, lady, I don't mean to be rude or anything. Captain Biceps never hits ladies, but you'd better hand that little guy over here because the mighty fists of justice can't tell skirts from pants. Hmm? Olé. Olé. But get me out of this thing. I'm way too old to be diapered. Calm down, you big babykins. I am not changing this diaper every five minutes. <laughs> Sorry, lady, but this time I'm telling you, you either let go of the little guy or I'll have to make porridge out of your big... Ha, 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 The porridge is for later on. First, it's time for walkies. Talk action, disappear. Abracadabra. Nope, but genius, it ought to work. I watched Super Natty disappear that way. Perhaps we should approach this from a scientific point of view. The president Let must be somewhere. Crazy huh? woman, I am not your big fat baby. I am the president and I demand to be released right now. Look, Captain, it's Super Nanny's baby monitor. The pickup is with the president and this is the speaker. Thanks to this up-to-the-minute state-of-the-art high-tech baby monitor equipped with satellite GPS, Mommy and Daddy will know wherever baby is when he goes walking. Thus, I can confirm that Super Nanny and the president are exactly right here. Hand over that toy! I am the president! It's us, Mr. President. Genius technique! What you need to turn milk solid is a kilo of compact flour. Milk changes into a very hard cake. See? This milk is now solid as cement. No danger of being sprayed with it. Okay, Captain, I just neutralized Super Nanny's weapons. Nice one, genius. You're back? Mm -hmm. You want to disturb my little babies? Oh, blows 
genius. Now's the time to think up a bicep trick. The superhero code of honor forbids me from bashing that nanny. Bicep brain in action. How about swapping the president for somebody else? Somebody she really likes, even more than the president. Good thinking, genius. We know that she has a weakness for little guys. But Captain, I'm little, right? But she doesn't seem to love me. No, no, maybe she prefers little old guys or powerful little guys. <laughs> Sorry, genius, but you don't suit that mission. Has to be somebody like the president. Tyrannical, selfish, and cute. Did you know? Frida and Papa started out as a regular nanny, but she happened to be in charge of the future Dr. Hazard, because of which she had the dubious honor of being his first guinea pig. Yes, indeed. Super Nanny is Dr. Hazard's first creature. Okay, he was little, but he sure wasn't cute. Oh, he is very cute. But me too, I'm, I'm little and cute. Oh yes, but you are much too young. <laughs> <laughs> what now? I didn't do anything this time. That uh, is just a, a prototype for a revolutionary new toaster. <laughs> oh, he is cute. Oh, he hurt himself. Oh, he's itty bitty nose, this darling. But you are just as darling as ever. Too young? Too young? Mm. Huh. Mr. President, get in here. Operation Escape. Biceps, it's hard for me to admit this, but I certainly owe you for this. And in thanks, I have a fantastic reward for you. Captain Biceps. Elmer? You take care of that president of yours. Can't you hear how they need you? The president wouldn't be happy if he saw you neglecting them. Yes, Mom. 